All right, everybody. So we want to use a website called UI Draw to draw a house. And we're going to make it look something like this, but this is going to teach you a little bit about layers and how you have to do stuff in a certain or order. And I don't want you to actually be able to do layers just yet. So when you actually get the ability to do this, the few weeks we're actually going to spend in a 2D product, that you'll actually be able to do this and understand layers pretty well. So we're going to create a house, something like this, but we're also going to go over gradients and some just some simple tools that you can use here. So I'm going to go file new image, leaving it 640 by 480. And we're going to grab a rectangle. I'm sorry, we're going to grab a pentagon. And that's going to be the roof for our house. Now, if you click on these colors here, <clears throat> you can either do a gradient or a pattern. Gradients will be different colors you can put in. That's a gradient. So if I wanted to change the color here, I could change the color to a purple. Click on this one, change the color to a green. And you can create a gradient that way. So if I create a shape, it'll look like that. But what I want to do is I actually want to do a pattern. And they have a pretty good pattern here you can use for different roofs. I want to make like a staccato roof and I want it to be here. So I'm going to draw out a shape making a staccato roof and I'm going to make it probably about half the size of the thing and maybe I don't want to have a border. So I'll just turn that border down. I might leave it up just a little bit. Okay. Now this is going to be the, the roof and we're going to have to put stuff on top of this to make an, a layer order. So there is no layering here, so you got to start with the roof to get this done. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to a square. Oops. Once you kind of have it how you like it, you want to click off so that you don't mess around with a shape anymore. And unfortunately, you can't go back and click on this shape. So again, when you actually get the ability to do this, you're going to be really happy. Now I'm going to get a square and I'm going to change it to another pattern. And you can have a brick, you can have a rock, whatever you want. And I'm going to make a square starting about right here, right here and we'll drag it over about like that it's not going to be perfect but you can move it around a little bit and fix the shape so if you make it too big you can always make it smaller and just line it up to where you think you got it pretty close to the house and you want to make sure your opacity is set to 100 percent here and let's click off and see what that looks like that looks pretty good and so now we can go in and add windows and everything and we want to add windows really in a specific way so let's go back and we'll get a color and I don't know what you what you want for windows but I'll make my internal color be blue and my fill color which will be the outside border we will make that be a grayish pattern maybe so again you can play around with colors it doesn't really matter all right so this is going to teach you another one of the little tricks that you can do in Photoshop, which is a copy and paste. Now, unfortunately, this is a little annoying, <clears throat> so it doesn't work quite as well as Photoshop. But again, this is just teaching you the very, very basic tools. So now we're going to go back to our shapes tool and we're just going to draw what you think a window would look like. And I might even set my opacity down a little bit. Let's see what that looks like if we put it on top and eh, maybe we'll leave it up a little bit higher. You know, you can play around with this. You can always drag it down. That's pretty good, I guess. Now, I want border size to be a little bit bigger because we're going to have to get in here and use the click off. And that's set. You can't move that. So we're going to have to erase that in a little bit. But what we can do is we can grab our selection tool, mouse over, and then you're going to hit Control C. Once you hit control C, that's going to put it to where you can copy this shape. And now if I hit control V, I can move this window around a little bit and I'll hit control V again and we can put 
Now it looks like a double sided window here and you can make these bigger or smaller if you want. I like that. I'm going to do control V again and you want to do this your best to line this up. So notice on the brickwork here, that's pretty close and I'm going to do control V one more time and we'll line this up again. And again, it's not going to be perfect. This is just teaching you some of the tools that you'll be learning in Photoshop. But again, that's pretty cool. Now, we got to get rid of our top up here. So we're just going to mouse over and delete it. Now, we got to do a door. So we're going to go back to our rectangle. And this time, I'm going to do my door as a curved rectangle. And we'll find some shapes to do our door in. Maybe this can be our door. Um, thing and we can do a door jam. Let's find a brown here that we like. Uh, that may be too dark. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So we're good and we're just going to do a door here. I really don't like that. So we'll do another door. And again, you can adjust this as you want so that's not halfway between. I'll move it over a little bit. I don't like that border being quite so big, so I'm going to drop the border down a little bit. And you can even go to that shape if you want. And if you like that shape, that's fine. I might leave it like that. Set our opacity down or up. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now, we're going to do kind of the same thing. You know, doors normally have panels. So we'll do uh, this one more time. We might change the colors uh, just a little bit. So maybe change the color around just a little bit. And we will click there and move it and again we're going to use our selection tool and we're going to do a control C and we'll move that down and let's see what that looks like another control C there's our panel again you might make these a little bit smaller now I got a little bit left over here so I'm just going to get rid of that mouse over delete and we'll move it, make a circle be our last piece here. So we're going to change our shape to circle and we will we'll use our circle tool and we will maybe make, I don't know what a doorknob would be, um, goldish, maybe that's a doorknob. And we don't need our border size quite so big, so we'll turn that down. And we'll make this be maybe a blackish color. Sure, why not? And then we can move that down. And again, maybe this is too big. Okay. Now, I want you to, to think about using 15 total shapes here. One more thing you can also do is you can also go in here and do different patterns. So you'll also notice different patterns for grass. You could do a walkway. And I just want you to be creative with what your house should look like. So if we wanted to add grass, don't use that shape. But we could use a, maybe we do do the circular one on this one. There you go, now we have a grass patio. Once you do that, you could also add trees. So you could use that using brushes. The brushes are really cool here because you have different effects that you can use. So play around with that. Now, if you make a mistake like that, I don't want that to look like that. You can always control Z and get it back. But see if you can create a really cool house using about 15 different items here. And then when you're done, go file, export, and it'll save it as an export one.png and it puts it in your downloads folder. So let's pretend like this is in my downloads folder. Mine actually goes to my F drive because I'm not on my school computer, but we go to my down, we go to, let's pretend like this is my downloads folder. We're going to find export and you'll just move that to your, to a 3D and then turn it in and try to, try to create like a really cool house. For those of you that are a little more advanced, you can go to Pexels and download a picture and put that in first and then build your house in front of a scene, but that's not required. But if you wanted to attempt that, you can. All right, there you go. That's the assignment.